Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. In this episode, we are going to make another traditional recipe, kadın budu köfte. It's a type of köfte in Turkish cuisine, old recipe. The mixture has a cooked minced meat with the regular minced meat and also cooked rice in it. Coated with flour and egg mixture, then deep fried. It is very delicious, so let's make it. First, I'm gonna boil my rice. I have close to half cup rice and just doubled amount of water. Stir it until it begins to boil. Add some salt and cook on a low medium heat until it is soft and soaked all the water. Next I'm going to saute a little less than half of the minced meat. I'm chopping a one medium size onion and going to saute in about four or five tablespoons olive oil. Checking the rice, it is getting soft but still has some water, I'm going to let it evaporate and after the onions I'm gonna add the minced meat. You cannot see it here but while sauteing the minced meat I also added about a half a teaspoon salt. My rice is soft as well and it soaked all the water and before mixing everything I'm gonna let the rice and cooked minced meat cool down a bit. After about half an hour I'm ready to uh, mix my köfte mixture. First rest of the raw minced meat, the cooked minced meat. I wanted to add gradually half a teaspoon salt for the raw meat again half a teaspoon black pepper fourth of a teaspoon dried mint it is optional about handful of chopped parsley these are from the freezer little more than a fourth of a teaspoon cumin and less than fourth of a teaspoon allspice allspice is also optional i'm using a turkish style small teaspoon but I gave you the amount according to universal uh, teaspoon set we have in Europe and US. After the seasonings, we are going to mix the cooked minced meat with the raw one. And after they are mixed well, add the rice. We do this later because we don't want to break the rice that much. We want to see the uh, pieces, the cooked rice pieces. Uh, that's why we add it at the end. I lightly whisked one egg and added about half of it, mixed everything well again and it didn't use the rest. To shape the köfte easily, it is better to rest it in the fridge for an half an hour if you have time. If you don't have, just begin to mix it. In a small bowl, I have water next to me to dip my hands. It helps to shape it easily and get a big amount of let's say 
two egg size mixture shape it into oblong and then press it lightly uh, traditionally in the restaurants they even make it more bigger but uh, I prefer a medium size by the way let me remind it if you have leftover cooked rice at home this is the perfect recipe you can do it with it as well okay now we are ready to cook our kadın budu köfte it is deep fried but i usually prefer to use a medium size pan and enough oil to cover the half of the köftes because since we are going to dip it in eggs the vegetable oil will not be useful again my oil is heating and first we gonna generously cover all of the köfte with all-purpose flour and next with a lightly whisked egg in the second part you can use a fork and gently transfer it to the uh, hot oil it is important to not to break the coating The heat is about medium high and within a two minutes it will begin to have golden color on sides. Gently turn it over with a fork beginning from the ones you placed first and cook the other side. we are looking for a golden color and if you exceed that it will turn into a darker color we don't want that so make sure to check it often and turn it over from time to time Please comment below from which country you are watching and usually for how many people are you baking or cooking my recipes. I usually try to make it for four person but especially for this köfte I would rather for the next time double the amount and freeze the rest of the köfte so it will be ready just take it out from the freezer thaw a little bit at room temperature and then make the coating and it will be ready for dinner I completed my menu with a simple shepherd salad çoban salatası a pasta with tomato paste sauce some pickles and as a dessert fake chicken breast pudding with chocolate sauce that I shared in the previous episode before you leave let me show you how it looks inside the rice the cooked minced meat it really gives a bold if I'm saying correctly rich different texture to the köftes and with the egg coating of course it comes out very flavorful so i hope you give it a try and let me know how it turned out share your photos with me from my instagram account turkish food and travel thanks for watching and see you next time afiyet olsun Ben gelseydim yerdim. <gülüyor>